We have been talking about African leaders and politicians, the majority of which are bad, and others such as Ibrahim Traore of Burkina Faso are good. However, in today's video, we want to talk about a man who most people haven't heard about before, but is a force to be reckoned with. His name is Dr. Akinwumi Adesina, and he is the president of the African Development Bank. First of all, for him to be the president of the African Development Bank, a multilateral institution that plays a crucial role in driving economic growth and development across the continent, it means that he is extraordinary. But beyond his achievements as the president of the African Development Bank, this man has been the driving force behind some of the major infrastructural projects across the continent. So in this video, we will show you more about Dr. Adesina, his achievements, and how he can help military leaders of the Sahel region. But first, we have a quick question for you. Do you think that the African Development Bank is under the influence of Western institutions, including the IMF and World Bank? Do leave your answers in the comment section below. Now, what does the media say about Dr. Adesina? Well, after an interview with Dr. Adesina on artificial intelligence, green tech, and why the world should bet on Africa, Eleni Joko of CNN Media wrote an article with the title, How One Man Helped Raise $180 Billion for Africa in Six Years. You can check out the article online, but that's not all. During a meeting in London, where Dr. Adesina spoke on the importance of energy to the transformation of Africa, he said that the African Development Bank would deliver electricity to 300 million people in Africa by the end of 2030. Dr. Adesina further added that Africa would not achieve much without first solving the energy problem that is currently experienced by so many African countries. However, he mentioned that the continent has moved from 32% of people with power to 57%. Meanwhile, there are still about 600 million people that don't have access to power. But with the plan of the African Development Bank, a lot more people, if not all, will be able to have access to electricity. This is fantastic news and a great move by the African Development Bank. Before we dive deeper into the achievements of the president of the African Development Bank, let's give some background story about him. Dr. Adesina was born in 1960 in Nigeria, in the year when Nigeria got her independence. His rise to the top is completely remarkable and a testament to his determination to succeed. He attended Egigbo Baptist High School, EBHS, and had a bachelor's degree in agricultural economics with first-class honors from the University of Ife, now called Obafemi Awolowo University in Nigeria. Interestingly, he was the first student to be awarded this distinction by the university. Dr. Adesina further pursued a master's and PhD degree in agricultural economics from Purdue University, USA, where he won the Outstanding PhD Thesis Award for that year. After his education, he dedicated his time at international developmental institutions, including the Rockefeller Foundation, USA, where he championed initiatives to provide food, security, and agricultural productivity in Africa. His work at the Rockefeller Foundation earned him the prestigious Rockefeller Foundation Social Science Fellowship in 1988, which launched him into his international career. It is said that no good work goes unnoticed, and it was the same for Dr. Adesina. His expertise and leadership skills didn't go unnoticed, and in 2011, he was appointed as the Minister of Agriculture in Nigeria. During his tenure, which lasted from 2011 to 2015, Dr. Adesina implemented bold reforms that transformed Nigeria's agricultural sector. Under his tenure, Nigeria ended 40 years of corruption in the fertilizer sector by developing and implementing an innovative electronic wallet system, which directly provided farmers with subsidized farm inputs at scale using their mobile phones. Within the first four years of its launch, this electronic wallet system reached 15 million farmers, dramatically transforming their lives. The electronic wallet system has now gone global and is currently being implemented in Afghanistan and several African countries. Dr. Adesina was also a firm believer in private sector-led growth, and this led him to radically change the perception of agriculture in Nigeria from that of subsistence to a viable business that successfully attracted $5.6 billion in private sector investments. 
He also led financing initiatives to support youth engagement in agriculture and small and medium enterprises, SMEs. Ultimately, under his leadership, Nigeria's food production expanded by an additional 21 million metric tons. Prior to his appointment as Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Adesina was the Vice President of the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA, where he led several bold and innovative policy and finance initiatives that leveraged over $4 billion in bank finance commitments to Africa's agriculture sector. His success as the Minister of Agriculture in Nigeria laid the groundwork for his ascent to the presidency of the African Development Bank in 2015. Not surprising, he was re-elected in 2020, cementing his position as a driving force behind Africa's economic transformation. As president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Adeshin has set ambitious goals and targets and launched groundbreaking initiatives across the African continent. Under his leadership, the AFDB has strengthened its financial position, secured a AAA credit rating, and increased its lending capacity through innovative measures such as hybrid capital and leveraging special drawing rights. However, Dr. Adesina's vision extends far beyond financial capability. He has placed a major emphasis on infrastructure development, climate finance, agricultural transformation, and renewable energy projects, all of which are critical to sustainable growth in the African continent. Now, how big is the financial might of the African Development Bank in terms of its development capital and who are the contributors to the fund? The answer to the question will help us determine if the African Development Bank is under the influence of Western institutions, because one thing you have to understand is that anyone who contributes the finance in any organization holds a very big influence in that organization. So how big is the capital base of the AFDB? During an interview last month on the BBC's Hard Talk with Stephen Sacker, the president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Adesina said that the bank got an increase in capital from all its shareholders. In his own words, we got an increase in capital of the bank from all our shareholders, specifically about 117 billion, which puts our total capital at $308 billion. He further added that all of the funds came from the United States, the United Kingdom, Italy, and every other shareholder. But what I want to say is that we got an increase in capital of the bank from all our shareholders, $117 billion. That puts our capital at $308 billion. And that came from all over. It came from the United States, it came from UK, it came from Italy, it came from everybody else. But when Breaking it further, he said that this increase in the bank's capital came from contributions by the bank's shareholders, which includes the 54 African countries and 27 non-African members such as the United States and the United Kingdom. I just came back from Nairobi where we had the annual meeting, Steve, of the African Development Bank. The African Development Bank, which have 81 shareholders, which includes uh, 54 African... Includes the US and includes China. Includes and, and UK, by the way, great support of us. Yeah. So, what does this mean? It means that to an extent, the African Development Bank is influenced by the West. It's common knowledge that the West always adds conditions to whatever financial commitments it makes to Africa. There is no doubt that its financial commitment to the African Development Bank would be no different. Notwithstanding, based on the achievements made by the bank, we can conclude that the president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Adesina, has been able to effectively manage the capital of the bank. In 2023, the bank reported an impressive income of $1.73 billion, providing a solid foundation for its ambitious development agenda, from massive infrastructure in railways, highways, and power projects to a bold climate finance goal of $25 billion. There is indeed evidence that under the leadership of Dr. Adesina, the African Development Bank has and is leaving an obvious mark across the African continent. One of the most notable innovative initiatives by the African Development Bank is the Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zones, which aim to transform Africa's agricultural sectors by creating integrated value chains and promoting industrialization. This incredible initiative doesn't only address food security concerns, but also creates employment opportunities and drives notable economic growth. Among the notable projects completed by the African Development Bank include the solar power station in Morocco, 
which is one of the world's largest solar power complexes. This solar power station has bolstered the energy security, created job opportunities, and reduced carbon emissions. Another project sponsored by the African Development Bank is the Lake Turkana Wind Power Project, which is Africa's largest wind farm. This farm generates 310 megawatts of clean energy, enhances energy access, and fosters economic development. In South Africa, the African Development Bank also has a project which is the South Africa's Guatrain Rail Link that connects Johannesburg, Pretoria, and Oliver Tambo International Airport. This rail link has eased congestion, boosted economic activity, and created thousands of jobs both direct and indirect. Thanks to the AFDB's initiative, the Uganda Road Sector Support Project improved key road networks enhancing connectivity trade and access to services for millions of Ugandas. The Nigeria Electrification Project has increased access to electricity for rural and underserved communities through solar mini-grids, improving living standards, education, and economic opportunities. In Senegal, the Dakar Omni Audio Toll Highway has significantly reduced travel time promoted economic growth and improved transportation, safety, and reliability. All these projects demonstrate the commitment of the African Development Bank to sustainable development, infrastructure enhancement, and improving the quality of life across Africa by addressing critical needs in energy, transportation, and connectivity. So as you can see, the AFDB has indeed played an important role in driving progress and prosperity on the continent. However, as the president, Dr. Adesina, has mentioned, the AFDB is primarily funded by member countries, but the larger contributions come from non-regional members, such as the United States, Japan, Germany, Canada, and France. These countries provide massive funds which the bank uses to finance large-scale developmental infrastructural projects across the continent. Regional member states whose economies are amongst the largest in Africa including Nigeria, South Africa, and Egypt, also play significant roles in funding the bank. International financial institutions, including the World Bank and IMF, also contribute and collaborate with the African Development Bank through co-financing initiatives and technical assistance programs. In addition to these, multilateral organizations, specifically the European Union, offer significant financial support aiding targeted developmental programs in the health and education sector. Private sector entities and philanthropic organizations also enhance the capacity of the AFDB to implement sustainable development projects. It is pertinent to note that these diverse contributions are crucial for the AFFB to achieve its mission of promoting economic growth and reducing poverty across the continent. Now, the big question is, since the largest contributions to the bank usually come from foreign countries and foreign organizations, is the AFFB still independent? Can the bank still make independent decisions? Well, even though the bank relies on significant foreign structures, it is reported that its governance structure, regional majority, and strategic mission help maintain its independence, ensuring that its operations and projects serve the interests of African countries. So why haven't the leaders of the Sahel reached out to the African Development Bank for funding? Well, even though Dr. Adesina is a big lover of the developmental approach and positivism of the Sahel, the fact is that he is not above the dictates of the bank's shareholders and donors. This is why we say that to an extent, the bank is not completely independent and is subject to some influences from the West. If you can recall, after the coups occurred in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, the African Union, the European Union, and other global organizations place sanctions on them. However, it's only a matter of time before the AFDB responds to the Sahel nations because Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso are also contributors to the bank. Now, what differentiates Dr. Adesina from previous presidents of the AFDB is his unwavering optimism and belief in Africa's economic growth and development. The African content is usually portrayed as a hopeless one full of despair. However, Dr. Adesina sees Africa differently. Of course, he acknowledges the challenges Africa faces, including insecurity and economic stagnation. However, Dr. Adesina also sees these challenges as opportunities for transformation. His vision is one of including growth, where rural communities are uplifted 
and job creation is prioritized, ensuring that no one is left out. His outlook about the continent has earned him the moniker Africa's Optimist-in-Chief. There's no doubt that in the next few years under Dr. Adesina, the African continent will be driven by more developmental growth. What do you think about Dr. Adesina? Let's know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.